Good morning, everybody. Cheryl here with Ink Pulp, and we're back with a really exciting um, session today. I have a big announcement to make, but I'm going to wait until I get more people in here. So how is everybody today? Are you guys all doing well? I hope so. Let's see. I've got one in here. Probably somebody up in the balcony. Y'all look at my husband. Picked for me out of the yard yesterday. Isn't that pretty? He picked me a fresh flower. And so I have pretty flower to look at up on my desk. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Big Mama. I've got a big announcement today. Do you guys have a good weekend? I walked over three miles yesterday. We walked for like an hour and 20 minutes. We didn't intend to walk that long. But we just got on these trails and we just, I don't know, we just kept walking. It was a beautiful day yesterday. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Big Mama. If I had that kind of announcement to make, I'd be laying out on Crab Creek Road, which is right down in front of my house. It's a very busy road. I would just lay down in the middle of that road and say, somebody run me over. <laughs> well, we got to wait till a few people get in here. Of course, I can make that's what you get for being first in. You get. Um, oh, today we got to watch for KK to come in. Today is her birthday. Tax day. Did you guys all get your taxes done? I don't know if ours got submitted or not. I gave my stuff to my husband and he usually takes care of that. So, hi, Pam. You got yours done, Cheryl? I just, the only thing I ever want to know about taxes is do we owe money or we're getting money back? Hi, Nydia. Well, so let me make my big announcement. And that is, as of today, I am officially retired. Woohoo! My, I had applied for Social Security, and my worker on my file called me. She had a question for me. We talked this morning and she said, well, you'll get your check the third Wednesday or well, direct deposit the third Wednesday of every month, which is this coming Wednesday. So hi, Darla. So I get my first check in a couple of days and I am officially required, required, retired. Daddy, will be officially retired on the 30th. Yay. I am just, just to have a regular income coming in is just, um, when my husband was working, it was not a big deal, but since he quit his job, it's, uh, I mean, we've been doing fine, but um, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. Nice to have that coming in. It's a life's work. I didn't really think it would like emotionally affect me at all. But I'm telling you, for those who have done it, um, and I know, Cheryl, you went through a long thing with the whole disability stuff stuff when you finally get approved it's like this i don't know it's just like moving into a whole new phase of your life no he just got 
just fed up with working. And I was like, just quit. I mean, he's six months younger than I am. So my birthday's in August. His is in January. Um, Advisors calling at 10 o'clock today. Finish setting up everything for his own okay. And then we'll pay for our end of life celebrations. Yeah. Yeah, we're hoping to hold off taking any money out of any of our savings stuff um, and just live on Social Security for a while. I mean, you know, if big things come up, we may have to get into it. But yeah, it's sad, but happy. It's like I worked, you know, other than the last nine years, I've been self-employed. But even then, I've still been working, just not a career job, like a corporate job. But you work your whole life to get to this point, and then it gets here, and it's like, wow, I did it. But then it's also like, wow, I'm old. <laughs> I'm in my golden years now. So I got to enjoy, enjoy them every bit that I can, which I plan to. So anyway, that's my big announcement, is that I am officially retired and... We'll get my first check on Wednesday or my first deposit on Wednesday. Oh man, I'm excited. I'm happy. I'm excited. And it happened on tax day. What a fitting thing, right? So does anybody else have news? We're going to have a retirement party today, which means that I'm just going to look around on my desk and just make things and party and I don't know, just have fun today because it's just that kind of day. I started sending out invoices. I don't think anybody in here got one yet. Um, but I started sending out invoices yesterday and I'll finish them today. Um, any other big news? Big Mama, are you all recuperated from your guests and your huge event? Is your house all back together? Finnegan is well. Yay. So the new treatment plan is working. That's good. Probably just took a little while for it to kick in. The huge stash in my dining room is going down slowly. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... And this lady who called me, her name was Mrs. Suggs. Or Ms. She went by Ms. Suggs. She was the nicest person because I kept going back and forth with her on some things like, do I take taxes out? Do I not? How much do I take out? And I kept changing my mind. And I told her, I said, how do you do this all day long? I said, this would drive me crazy. And she, she was so funny. She said, your auto doesn't like microphone. <laughs> Happy meal. <laughs> Um, I said, that would drive me nuts all day long, just having people undecided about stuff and not sure what they needed to do. And, um, she, she laughed and she said, I just really like helping people. So I love my job. I'm like better you than me. It would drive me bananas. I never use my microphone if I'm not live. I don't use it like I do in my car. I use my audio or my microphone if I'm driving and I'll tell Siri, you know, hey, text Lou Foils and I'll text my husband or call him or whatever. I'll do that all hands free. But um, anyway, I'm just kind of on cloud nine right now. 
so excited excited to have oh, look at these pretty flowers sitting on my desk that was from the purple journal or the purple page and i didn't use it um look i've got a bunch of these that i had left over and some other stuff up here oh look at her she fell off my shelf i hope she didn't get messed up remember her <laughs> oh i'm so sorry pam i'm really sorry to hear that let's see what can we do here oh i know oh i have another piece of big news i have been invited to um join a um design team can't tell you which one it is yet because she hasn't announced it um so until she announces it i don't feel comfortable putting it out there but um that's kind of fun i've never done that before yes prayers and hugs But if we just collage on this little thing here and I've got my box of scraps and my scotch permanent glue stick oh thanks Darla I am just so Oh, Darla, you're next. Um, I've got your stuff all bagged up. Your invoice is going out next. As soon as I finish up here, I'll go upstairs and get a little breakfast. And then I'll get back to the... Um, invoicing. Okay, there's that. So I'm just going to collage and talk and enjoy my Oh, here's another mop-up page that I did some stamping off on when I had oops, too much ink in my stamp. Let's put that there. Yes, hoping you feel better real soon, Pam. It's just no fun, especially a, like a cold, because there's just nothing you can do for it. I guess that's kind of like the flu. There's nothing you can do for it except let it run its course. Unless it turns into, you know, like bronchitis or something, but and that's no fun, let me tell you. I used to get bronchitis every year when I was younger, and it was always in February. So I've got my box of scraps here, all kinds of scraps in here. Oh, that's kind of fun. And if we put that down there every February we have you know I have to tell you guys something um, Cheryl and I have become pretty good friends and I'm sure you guys have all you know picked up on that but one of the reasons that we have become such good friends I'm looking for that glue book that I had um, one of the reasons is because we have 
so much in common. I mean, so much of our lives, it's just, it's like uncanny, eerie. And, you know, now here's another thing. And there, it's random stuff. Like I'll say something really random or she'll say something really random. I'll be like, no. Like we had very similar backgrounds with our um, growing up like with our parents and stuff. Um, and it's just, it's just crazy. How much we have in common. This one down. So we're just going to have a party today. I'm going to let you guys kind of help me out. Tell me what we should make. My husband was so funny. He says, he says, we need to have a retirement party and celebrate. I'm like, yeah, it would just be you and I. Like, we don't have any family out here. And we really don't have, we've not ventured out a lot to, like, make a lot of friends outside of the house. You know, we do have a few. But not, um, I don't know, I hardly ever go out. So, you know, most of the people who are my friends are back over in the Raleigh area still. Um, or here online. You know, you guys. So, I don't know. I said, well, we can go out to dinner and celebrate that way. Party! Yeah, we're having a, we are having a retirement party today. Let's see, I need a little tiny piece just to go right here. Cover up just this piece right here. Feeling like having a friend, isn't it? One that you don't have to explain your mind, they just understand. Oh, yeah. I've just not made any, you know, like locally. There was one gal who also moved over here from, and I didn't know her before I got here. Um, but she moved over just after we did. And, um, you know, we've run into each other a couple times. And I've reached out to her and said, hey, you want to go have coffee? And... I said, just tell me what works for you and we'll go have coffee. And she's also a crafter, but she's sewing, Pam. She, um, yeah, where's Marty with the trolley? Mimi! Mimi, we're having a party today. Today is um, my official retirement day. I got off the phone with... Um, my representative at social security and she asked me the final questions I needed to get my retirement and I get my first check on Wednesday. Isn't that awesome? So look at that collage. Isn't that fun? So I had this. How about if we put that there? I don't know what else to put on here or maybe we don't put that there. Or maybe we put that there and then we take this. I wanted to use this in the purple book, but it was just too big. Maybe we put that up there. What are you guys thinking of this? I think it needs to be inked because it doesn't show up enough. Or I could take gesso and push that back. I don't know. Maybe both. I'm just feeling very huh. 
<laughs> you heard what, Mimi? Oh, you heard my announcement? Yep, so I am officially retired, even though I haven't worked a nine-to-five job in a long time. Um, I am going to start drawing my Social Security, and I'm really... I really love it. So, Pam, you and I did this, but um, I want to throw it out there. I want to set up nothing to go live. It'll just be, you know, whoever wants to come. Is anybody interested in doing a craft and chat? Just getting on StreamYard, and I'll send you the link. You don't have to. All you have to have is a camera. Um, it could be your phone. It could be anything. Anybody interested in a craft and chat online? Oh no, that doesn't sound like fun. That doesn't sound like fun. You want to? Okay. You want to do another one, Pam? That was fun when we did it. We were just all talking. And then on StreamYard, if we do it on StreamYard, then everybody's going to get a chance to talk. Uh -huh. All you have to have is you have a camera. Okay. Oh, hi, um, Marie. I loved your technique that you got from Gail Augustine and Ellie. We might do one of those today. They're trying to find my brain. <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is click on a link and point your camera at what you're doing, um, but up to you. Okay, I think that this is just a little bit too bright for the colors I'm using. April! Marie, Marie's um, really getting into um, doing videos, and she's done some cute ones. This one she just did, well, I watched it yesterday. I don't know when she put it up, but, um, and we'll, maybe we'll do that next. Cute as all get out. <laughs> just really need it up here at the top a little bit just to kind of push it back All right. Yep, I like that. Put that brush back in the water. Clean up this little gesso mess, and then I'm throwing this paper towel away because I always I'll I'll do the gesso thing, and then now do we need to have anything sticking up out of there? Oh, I found my drawing bowl that I use for 
doing my drawings. Um, huh. Let's see here. Oh, I've got all these great rub-ons. Let's see if we need a little rub-on or two, like down here. I wonder if I have like a little bunny rabbit. Do y'all think I might have a little bunny rabbit? Not there. We've got these little mice. I know you used one of these, Cheryl, in one of your projects. Yeah, it will be just like a just like a video. It's just like a video. Okay, Cheryl's excited. What's she excited about? I'm doing a video today with a new oh. And I've been wanting to do collaborations with some of you guys, and I just haven't, I just haven't done it, and I need to. I don't know if this is going to go here, but we'll see. This is kind of a fall. themed set, but these little field mice don't have to be full. And I don't know if they go here. I've got kind of purple stuff going on. I don't know. What do you guys think? If we had that butterfly up there, that little field mouse... <laughs> yeah, you do. You'd be fun to have in a... What do you guys think about putting that little rub on on there? He kind of blends in. Or... I could put him up there with that butterfly there. What do you think about that, you guys? I don't know. I don't know if that field mouse works. You like it? Yeah, it is one big butterfly, but he's got some sparklies on it. You like this here, Cheryl? Above the flowers, the purple flowers? Okay, let's put it down then. If y'all like it, we'll put it down. We'll put it down. Hey, Huey. So, Huey, did you hear my big announcement? I have officially retired. I got my Social Security payment approved today, and I get my first direct deposit on Wednesday. And I am so excited. Well, that's going to be underneath the flower, so that doesn't have to be all the way stuck down. There we go. There's the little... So who's in for the um, craft and chat? Let's see. Let me make a list here. We have Cheryl. We have Pam. We have Big Mama as a watcher, unless we... Morning, Tammy. <clears throat> All right, anybody else want to uh, jump in on the craft and chat? Not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably do it more in a like late afternoon or evening so that we can get 
Um, uh, I hear you. Well, thanks for coming in. Okay, we'll send Darla the link. Anybody else? Marie, what about you? You do videos. Okay, we have Mimi. We have April. And we have Hi Bonnie. Marie, what about you? Oh, she says, I'll watch. Okay, so who's going to craft and chat? Let's see, I'm going to put a star by Cheryl, a star by Pam. April says, <laughs> her, if she's not working. And everybody else says they'll watch? That's only four of us, you guys. You guys, let's put this down. Only we'll leave the top open in case we want to tuck something else in there. So for those who just came in, this is a retirement party. We're just having fun today. I, as of <clears throat> this morning, am officially retired. They pushed the button on my Social Security application, and I get my first direct deposit on Wednesday. I am so excited. A life's worth of work. And can't see that little mouse very well. We might need to. Here's my Stabilo all. Should we put a little? Shall we put a little, I don't know if I'm going to wet this, but I'll do some, I'll do some outlining on the flowers and him so that we can see them a little better. And maybe I'll put water on it. We'll see. Popcorn art. Oh, yes. Thumbs up. Thank you, Huey. Thumbs up if you haven't already. I hadn't done mine either, so. Um, please give me a thumbs up. So anyway, I am entering my new phase of life. Right when I am, you know, starting to get real healthy and I love it. I love it. We're walking, eating better. We had pizza last night. It was really good. There. Look at how much better he stands out now that I have put some outlining on him. I am not going to wet it, though, because um, I don't always like that. So we've got that, and we've got that butterfly. I do have a smaller one. We could put a smaller one on there because that is awful big for that little piece. I've got that one. Oh. Maybe I'll put this down here and find something else to put up there, but it still really blends in. <clears throat> I would have to. 
But I was also looking at this one because it's kind of got the colors in the... All right, you guys, let's take a vote. <clears throat> lavender fields. I don't know if this is lavender, though. I kind of don't think it is. Maybe it is. Um, which butterfly? So should we put this one, the, the kind of pinkish one? So it matches with this guy, or should I use the purple, the little purple or the big purple? So there's three choices, pink, little, or big. Pink, little, or big. Tell me which one you like up there. A purple, which one, the little one or the big one? The little purple and the big purple. Okay, I don't have any for the pink, so let's continue voting. <clears throat> little purple or big purple? I have two for little and two for big. Mimi, where's Mimi? Another one for the little purple. Okay, I'm just going to put, okay, most people want the little purple. I think it's more proportionate with the little mouse and the field. That doesn't go there. That goes there. All right, so the little purple. Like right there, and then we could put, let's, let's, oh, I was showing somebody yesterday. Oh, hey, you guys, look at this. Mimi, you've seen these before. This is a copper bracelet. This one particular, one particular one has lace in it, where I wrap the lace in copper and make a bracelet out of it. And sometimes I use fabric. Sometimes I use lace. Isn't that pretty? I need to make up a whole bunch of those. You need this. I don't even know what price I have on it. I'll have to look it up and I'll let you know. But yeah, and the copper is all sealed. So um, you want it for your trip. Oh, okay. Um, it's all sealed. So the copper um, it will not turn your skin green. It also will not tarnish any farther than what it is because it is all sealed as is the lace is sealed too so it shouldn't if it gets some dirt on it you can wipe it off um but anyway i just wanted to share that with you guys i was talking to the gal who i'm going to be designing on her guest design team and um you know we were talking about some of my techniques and things and um i was showing her all that stuff and i'm looking for i took a little bit of lace that filet crochet lace i have and i burned it just to show her how that works and she loved it let's go over here now, I'm probably not going to burn this one because this is kind of a, oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that better? And then if I put some dark, <laughs> well, that is, um, 
adjustable so you can squeeze it together and make got a little extra piece on there There's our big mama looking for ways to thwart the law. Oh, what are we going to do with you, big mama? All right, there it is, a little bit inked up. Now, um, I am also going to do a couple more things here. I'm going to take, and I'm just playing here, you guys. I'm going to take this purple. And I'm just going to put a little extra um, color where there's already some lines in this butterfly, just to make it stand out a little bit more. I know I'm spending way too much time on one little tag, but... Let's... Do one of my favorite techniques here. There, that makes that stand out a little bit better. All right. So I'm going to glue down the lace and this, and then we'll put a sentiment up here. It needs something down here, too. What shall we put down there? What shall we put at the bottom? <laughs> it is my celebration. Man, I am just, I am just over the moon. I just keep thinking, you know, I've waited my whole life for this. I put up with some crappy jobs. None of my jobs started out crappy, the ones that I thought were crappy. It was like new managers would come in and they would be just horrible. And then I would hate my job all of a sudden. But I tended to stay. I think five years was the average I spent at a job. Um, well, not the average, because I don't know that I ever spent less than five years at a job. I spent more, but not less. I tended to stay. All right, I need to move this mouse because I already almost don't like the wind. No. Aww. Ooh. All right, let's. I think this needs some um, rounded corners. I don't like those square corners. Hang on. Oh, I see something we could use. Oh my gosh, yes. You're at a job, you love it, you're doing well, and then they bring in some bozo who wants to change everything because they always want to make it theirs, right? And things were going along just fine, but they have to change it and make it theirs. And I just, how about a little, 
um, ruffle or fabric cluster. Oh, you remember when we made this? We did um, shaped notepads, and I put jump rings in that one. That was fun. Um, hmm. Let's look at our little bitty, bitty, bitty tags. That actually is an envelope. We, we made that together very recently, actually. That's kind of cute. Do you guys like that with the bumblebee on it? Hmm. Let's see, don't like the wind. Bad managers. Yeah, there's nothing worse than having a bad manager. I retired early. I needed a quick home, quick income to subsidize her. Yes, absolutely, big money. Better to give while we're here. And then we'll put a we'll put a sentiment up at the top. Let's put some ink around it. Yeah, I like it too. I might put a there's a little hole in it, so I may just put a um thread through it. Yeah, this is a nice little garden scene, isn't it? This would have been pretty in the spring journal. Mimi, as soon as I get to your invoice, I will get your stuff all ready to ship. You've got two prizes in there. You've got a Happy Mail and you won the spring journal. So if we put if we put this in here and I put just a little bit of um, string or ribbon. Um, oh, I've got this ribbon left over from the purple page that I could put in here. Gremlins. Noise. What noise? I don't hear any. Am I making noise? No, seriously, is there, because I used to have a lot of problem with noise when I had my autofocus on. Because every time it would focus, it would make a noise. I love using up scraps on my desk there. How about that? And then... How about a little piece of that? So this is kind of purpley. We kind of took it down the purple route and a piece of that for the tag. 
Is that too much or you like? Um, oh, that was probably my husband. He was on the phone in the other room. His office is right down the hall from my craft room. And he was on the phone. That's, that's probably what you guys heard. All right. So here's this. Do you guys like this as a tag topper? And then I can just sew that. I can glue it for now and then I would cut it down. Um, thumbs up if you haven't, please. Should I make a little pocket for this down here? Or should I just glue it on? Nope, that won't go up there. I could. Nope. Nope, it's got to go here. I could put a brad in there. And I have some really pretty... Um, I have a purple blingy fl flower, or not flower, but a bling brad like that I could put in there. What do you guys think about that? I kind of like that. I kind of like it. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do it. Attach with a... Well, I thought about that, but it's kind of like right in the middle of the page. Do you think that would work? And this isn't covered on the back, so I can put this through. See, I don't know how I would hook that is the problem. But if I put that... What about that? You can kind of put it at an angle there. Do you guys like that? Yeah, I like that Brad idea. Yeah, I it wouldn't the orientation of that little um, tag wouldn't fit with the where I have it where I need to have it on the page. There, and that moves. And then we've got our little love it, love it, love it, love it. Cheryl, today I'm going to move. <laughs> Okay, let's put a word on there. Anybody, any word just really stand out to somebody? It has to be kind of short to fit up here. Um... Too long. We have with brave wings she flies. I could cut that and do two because we've got the wings here. So that's one option. I've got 
this little green tag. Now, too many different colors. It looks relaxing, so I guess I would have to put the word relax on it. Okay. I may have that word in here somewhere. This is one of my favorite words ever. I love believe. Oh, I know what else I might have that we could use up there. If I can't find a relax. I have inspire, hope. Accept, trust. Now you probably hear my husband talking again. I can make a relax. We can stamp a. Because strength. Okay. I don't have a relax that I can see off the top of my. Um. Trust. Well, we can do relax. We can do relax. Um, I'll just get one of my pieces of paper. Retired. I know. I'm so excited. I am. Uh, you guys just don't know how excited I am. I'm going to get the bigger set, not the real tiny one. You have relaxed? Well, oh, that's too big. Um, why don't you um, teleport it over here? Do you still have that word that I teleported to you and then sent to you? But yeah, my hubby's on the phone in there. Oh, retired. Yes, ma'am. No, nope, I think I need black. That brown is too light. Well, let's do retired then. It's your, you pet it. <laughs> There we go. R. E. This one, I'm going to hang up. That didn't work well. Let's try that over again. That R and E are way too far off. Sometimes I cannot stamp straight. Now they're really close, but that's okay. I don't mind that. You still have that card and you'll remember the day. I know it. I'm absolutely keeping this. R E T. It's all a little bit wonky, but that's okay. You get kind of wonky in retirement, don't you? I okay. Where did I put the R P? You guys tell me where I put the R. That's the E. Where did I put the R, you guys? Can somebody look back on the video and tell me where I put it? <laughs> I'm such a basket case.
I am such a basket case. Well, poo. Rescue retired red basket case. What red basket case? Where did I put that R? Oh, there it is. It's up by the D where the E is supposed to go. I R. E. Yep, I found it. And D. Now, does that look too funky? Should I do it one more time? I don't know. Let's see. Over there. Retired. I think I need something under it. Like maybe a little piece of this. What do you think about that? And is retire. R, R, where are you? I found R. Over yonder. You guys are so funny. All right, what do you think about that? I kind of like it wonky, actually. Do you like it with that little bit of purple, either at the top or at the bottom? I kind of think at the bottom. Okay, how does that look for balance, you guys? Expialidocious. What do you think? What do you think? Yes? <laughs> oh. You guys are too much. You guys are too much. And I'm doing this mostly in purples, which is not even my favorite color. Okay, we've had a few more people come in. Um, tell me, you guys, I'm planning to do a craft and chat. Nothing that we're going to 
put on the um, website. It's not going to be published. It's just going to be a session for us to get together and craft and chat a little bit. But I'll do it on StreamYard so that um, we can actually talk and hear each other. Look at that. Now, see, I don't know if I need this now. That might be too much. I'll think about a topper. I'm not sure now if I need it. There's my retirement card, you guys. What do you think? We done good. Oh, something under there. You know what? I have Oh, no, that's Roxy's flowers. That's not the one I want. Papers, birds, tabs. I was looking for my little sticker box that had the flowers in it because in there there is a there are some little animals animals um hmm Well, I will oh Nell, did I see Nell came in? Somebody said hello to Nell. A penny with my birth year. That would be kind of cool. <coughs> or, or I could stamp my, the date today that I retired, since this is my retirement card. Gremlin in a crate. Huh. Well, let me think about that, and then I can come back and um, show you guys what I ended up doing. Um, I'm looking for I have some stuff stickers that I thought had some little like woodland animals on it on them. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not finding what I want. So I will Find what I'm looking for. Yes, the date. Yeah, I could do that. I could go to the post office. I've got those little date stamps that, you, you know, you roll the date on them and Maybe I just need to find one of those and stamp the date that way. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. There it 
I've never even used this one. I think I have one that I have used, but I've never even used this one. Let's see. Oh. Uh, I don't think this goes high enough. 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23. It only goes up to 23. Grr. Okay, I'll figure it out. I don't want to spend a lot of time here. I'll figure it out. I'll find a way to get the date under there. I like that. That's going to go right up on my wall. My retired card. Thank you all. Which P.O. shall we send her to? Bye, Big Mama. <clears throat> Do you know the last time I was in a bank? I can't even remember. <gasps> please. Oh, please send me. Please teleport me to Hawaii. I love Hawaii. I'll tell you a little story about Hawaii. I lived in Hawaii for a while when I was a little girl, like really little, around five. I think I was there for two, not quite two years. It, um, my father was in the army and they shipped him off to Vietnam. This was, if I was five, that would be like 1964. My brother was just a baby and they sent my dad to Vietnam and they sent us to Hawaii, the family. And we lived in this little house there and um, my dad came home between deployments. He was deployed twice. And um, so <clears throat> my mom and my brother and I lived in, lived in Hawaii while my dad was gone. And I remember it. I remember the house. I remember, you know, most of it. And then when I got married, I, uh, we honeymooned in Hawaii. You know, when you live on the West Coast, that's where you go for honeymoons. But we were on the island of Kauai. And it was pretty cool. So I've been to Hawaii lived there for a little while and then honeymooned there. That's my Hawaii story. All right. We have like 15 minutes left. Shall we do something? I just love that card. I just love it. I love that we have, oh, I can glue these down now because I'm not going to put anything behind it. KK didn't. Oh, did you? That's where we lived when my dad, when they sent my dad to Vietnam. We lived on Oahu. We lived by the, um, is it Schofield? Is it Air Force or Army Base? Um, Schofield is, they didn't put us on the base. Oh, thanks, Jen. Thanks. I love those colors too. Um, they're not my go-to colors. And if I were, if I would have known this was a retired, I might have done different colors. But you know what? I love how it turned out. And I just started taking things on my desk and we collaged them down. And then made this. This is all just stuff on my desk. I love days like that where we just Schofield is army. That's what I thought. Um, cause my dad was in the army. We were very close to the Schofield army base. Um, but we didn't live on the base, you know, and I was young, I was like five years old. So I didn't appreciate the fact that we lived in Hawaii, you know, and this was a long time ago. So it was very different than it is now. I mean, it's always been touristy, but not, not like it is now. I mean, 
And Kauai, when my husband and I got married, and that was 34 years ago in January, um, Kauai was a, oh, bye, Hawaii. Wahiawa. Um, Kauai was just a sleepy little island. I mean, everything shut down by nine o'clock, except for like the hotels where they had the clubs and stuff at the hotels. You know, those would keep going, but um, everything pretty much just shut down. Hey, look at this. That looks like something fun to play with. Where is my scoreboard? And it was real rainy when we were there in January. We didn't care. We still, you know, went swimming and did all our stuff, but there was a lot of rain. And, uh, you know, those islands are so tiny. Oh, this is like, no. So is this an envelope? that just goes this way I guess it is this came out of some digital kit couldn't tell you which one huh look at that and that and then I think it needs to be chopped off just a little bit because it goes up too close to the seam and then what I'm going to do is kind of I'm going to you guys know this trick right kind of fold don't crease it you don't want to crease there but you can make it And I should have just not, I should have not brought it up. Just make it go straight across. There we go. So now, there. So now we have that folds down, but then we have this so we can, you know, tuck something in there. Oh, that's cute. Just another thing that I had sitting on my desk. Oh, I got some more um, double-sided tapes. Ugh. Yeah, this is a... Um, these are all the same. So I got four of the same thing. These are a little bit wider than that real thin stuff. But I use a lot of this tape, so let's put some on here. So what's everybody got going today? Anybody doing anything spectacularly fun? I just heard Bonnie, my husband, when he was on the phone... He was ordering the compost to be delivered for my garden. I'm getting really excited to get that garden going. Mowing and weeding. Yeah, I'm fortunate in that my husband does, well, all the mowing. Um, he does He does some weeding, but um, he definitely does all the mowing. Oh, before I close this up, I want to I wanna 
to stencil a little bit in here. Well, maybe not stencil. Maybe I just want to put color. Because I put stenciling, that was still... Um, you know, be white underneath. So I could do this and then stencil. I just don't want it that. Well, it's not really white. It's an off-white, but I still, I don't want it. Yeah, um, that's us too, Marie. Mother's Day is, now my carrots, I keep, I've been wanting him to get the compost in because carrots I can plant now. Um, everything else though, I have started in my, oh, I guess I didn't need to do that other side. Um, I have them starting and then I have to go buy some plants because I don't, I didn't get seeds for everything I need. I just got approved. That was a long 24 hours. Um, Yes, yeah, so we're going to, so when we do our craft and chat, I'm going to count you in. I mean, we're not going live. We're not going to put it on the internet. Um, we're just going to craft and chat, but you'll know how to do that. I swear, inking t just takes the longest time. Yes, congratulations. High school baseball, baby son. Does that mean your youngest, your... Thanks, me and Tara tried at Big Mama's after. Huh. I love watching baseball. I miss those days. I know. My son was so athletic. He hated school, barely graduated high school. But boy, he was a really good hockey player. He played a lot of hockey and a lot of baseball. He did do basketball, but that wasn't his premier thing. And he never played football until middle school um, because you couldn't do um, football and hockey both. You know, just the seasons overlap too much and practices and all that. Plus, when he played hockey, he was on the travel team. So every weekend, it seemed like if we weren't hosting a tournament here, we were on the road. My son played soccer when he was real little, real little. Um, he didn't stick with it, though. He moved on to hockey and wow, what an expensive sport that is, <clears throat> especially on the travel team because you have to pay all your travel expenses yourself. So, and then um, the equipment, holy cow. And just to play on the team, it was $850 just to join the team. And what that paid for was all your ice time, you know, and they had to rent the ice rink. But, all right, so here's a little, so this is a side envelope. Look at that little thing. Isn't that cute? I think we need to put something on it, though. I think we need to put something on it. I'm going to have to get another pack of these. Oh, 
So the lady that I'm going to be doing the, um, the um, a design team for, she has a ton of rub-ons. And she said that she would happily trade with me Should we put one of these old bottles on here? Um, if I wanted to get rid of some lace, because I have tons of lace. She's like, well, whatever you do, don't, you know. She said, tell me, you know, if you got lace, I'll trade. And she's got so many rub-ons. Oh, my gosh. So I think I'm going to trade some lace for some rub-ons. Yeah, it, travel teams are expensive, but definitely worth it. I mean, the camaraderie, I don't know. Does that bottle, does that old bottle go with that family? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we need to put, oh, and I just screwed it up. Um, good thing I have more. about one of these it's a lighter blue but will that lighter blue work on there do you think or is it too light too much blue, too much something. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Um, oh, now I might like that one on there or oh, don't do that. I lost part of it, but we could put that on there and give some color to the side of that actually like that because there's some color up here in the butterfly let's do this let's just put a little bit of color and then we'll be at our hour and 30 minutes and we'll call it a day and tomorrow guess what we get to do tomorrow kk never came in today did she yeah, they're so cute. Little kids, they're so cute when they get out there in the field and they're more interested in the bees flying around or the butterflies or picking the clover and especially in baseball when they're playing in the outfield because when they're little, nothing gets to the outfield. When the balls hit, they don't get much action and uh, they get busy looking at what what's in the ground around them and forget playing around or playing the position. Oh yeah, that's it. Look at that. That was it. That was the piece that it needed. All right. behind day <laughs> all right so here is what we made today thank you for coming to my retirement party and helping me make a card um for my retire to celebrate my retirement ah I love it. This is just a cute little envelope. I can probably put something on the back, but I don't know that we need to. Cute little something, something just laying on my desk. All right, everybody. I'm going to go and um, have some breakfast, put up the picture for the thumbnail, and then um, I'll probably just put this one up. Um, 
and then I'm going to come back and do invoicing. So if you haven't received, oh, thank you, Mimi. Um, if you haven't received your invoice yet, it will be coming today. Not today I will be finishing up that stuff. I love my retirement card. Had to make my own, but my friends helped me. So that's like getting a card from everybody. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thumbs up if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow. Love y'all. Bye.